things that are saving our lives. It's like a chocolate delight. Adds a little bit of glam. Swedish. Swedish. Uh, heartbreaking. It takes up almost an entire suitcase. Like frisky. <sighs> hey everybody. We're back. How's everybody doing? Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Another day in the life. Another morning of endless ocean. Another day at sea. I don't mind that at all, do you? No, I quite like being at sea, you know. Just me, you, and the ocean. However, it's not always easy to live on a cruise ship, and that's why we are doing the video that we're doing today. We are still in quarantine here on the ship, so we thought that today we would go through a list of things that are saving our lives. <laughs> <laughs> the essentials. The essentials of what you need to live on a cruise ship, but the essentials of quarantine, most importantly. We know that this list is different for everyone, but we think that the things that we have on our list are essentials for a lot of people. Either way, we're going to share them with you today. Yeah. Essential number one. Your own duvet. We are the only people that do this, you know. We bought and bought our own double duvet on board. We bought it in Germany during rehearsals. I then packed it in one of my checked luggages and lugged it all the way here, then all the way home, and then all the way back again. <laughs> it's worth it, honestly, I sleep so much better. It just gives me a little sense of like, I'm home. I feel like you, we've just leveled up. You know, when you were a kid, you used to bring your own pillow on trips and so on. We also bring our own pillows. Sleep is important. I just am very specific. It's like a hotel. Like, most hotels, it's okay. You can sleep for like a one night or two nights, but then like when you sleep longer than that, you just want your own stuff. Yeah, that's okay. So that's number one. Very important to us. We always bring it with us. We always bring it back. It takes up almost an entire suitcase, but it is what it is. We prioritize it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Number two. We always bring a shower filter. It's quite simple. Hard water versus soft water. American Swedish. I actually don't know if that's really the reason. I have big issues with my skin when I just like shower anywhere. But when we use a shower filter, it makes a huge difference for me. It honestly saves my life. It costs $30. So worth it. Honestly, if you ever feel like you're struggling with your shower and not having fresh water, buy a shower filter and it can actually help you a lot. It also adds minerals and stuff to help out with your skin and your hair and the health of it. So we'll link the one below that we bought because so far this is the best one that we've used. We've had one for every contract that we've done. This is our third and I would say that this is the best one that we have yet. We're also using this at home right now and we felt a massive difference because we also know that depending on if you live in a flat or a house or a new building versus old building, piping can be different. It really, really helps me. And when we were coming on and security was going through our bags, one of the security guards was like, picked up a shower filter and he was like, this is game changer. You gotta have a shower filter. We're veterans. We know that we need oh, to bring. Uh, been around the block. It just changes everything. It's great. It makes you feel better. So this next one is also bathroom wise. And skin wise. So number three. Aesop soap. Not just your own soap, Aesop soap. They're not paying us, but we'll I, talk about them any day of the week. Yeah, like I've been using Aesop products for years. I love the brand. They're quite frisky with the pricing, but... To have our own hand soap, and we actually have the shower gel too, and hand cream, it just adds a little bit of glam to my life every day. Honestly, it's worth investing in because we do feel like it makes a difference for our, our skin and for our, just how we feel. Yes. To go along with that one, I also brought my skincare because I live for this skincare. I brought my Ultra Bland from Lush. This makes your face feel like you just rubbed butter on it in a good way. <laughs> Medium butter. And my rose hip oil from Living Libations. It's like you just went to the spa when you put this on. I know you don't have much to say on this. I think it's I think it's worth it because honestly, like going to the spa, it's quite expensive buying some rose hip oil. So it's called Rose Best Skin Ever. Moving on, the next thing that keeps us happy and entertained on board. Games! Games. 
Yahtzee! Obviously, internet is limited and uh, we can only download so much from Netflix. So you have to get creative. So we brought this mini little quirkle on board. We have Phase 10, we have cards, we have Yahtzee. And they've occupied quite a bit of our time during quarantine. She's been winning every single game <laughs> and it's been quite heartbreaking. It's hard to take. What we also do, which is not dependent on internet, is that we read and we write and we um, try to stay creative. This one is a long one. This is a long one. As you know, we're vegans. And Morgan, please tell them, how is it to be vegan on a cruise ship? We've been here for quite a few days now with the task of letting other people feed us. We've eaten a lot of rice and a lot of potatoes. Not only do they not have the best options here for us, people just also don't really know what to give vegan people. <laughs> it's pretty simple to be vegan. But when people don't know, you can't blame them. I also respect the fact that like when I became vegan, it took quite a long time before I was cooking things that was interesting and were tasting nice. It takes a long time to get used to it. It really does. So we know this is on us. It's just a fact when, when you're in, locked in a room, it becomes harder. When we're out of quarantine, we have a little bit more control and we can decide a little bit more what we eat every day. But until then, we have brought our own pantry with us on board. Like we mentioned in previous videos, we have only brought on things that are allowed. No perishable food is allowed to be brought on. So, shall we give you a little tour of our pantry? We brought basically everything from rice cakes to roasted chickpea snacks, mushroom portobello jerky, herb salt, which Will doesn't leave Sweden without ever, and he puts it on every meal because it's delicious, so rightfully so. We brought almost every kind of nut that you could need. We have hazelnuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, almonds, pistachios, peanuts, pecans, I think that's it. As far as seeds go, we have hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds. We brought bee pollen, coconut shavings. We use all of that for our breakfast. We have Oreos because they're vegan and we like to cheat every once in a while. Multivitamin that we try to take every day, if not every other day. We also bring tea and coffee on board. However, when we're in quarantine, we don't have access to any hot water or anything like that. So that is something that we use later on. We brought cachaba, which this is a total game changer. This is the best protein powder I've ever had in my life, especially for vegans being plant-based. It's hard to find a good one that actually tastes good and is good for you. The ingredients are clean and it has a really creamy, nice taste to it. I wouldn't even call it a protein powder. I would call it a super food. Powder. shake yeah that just has the aspect of like a protein shake and yeah like you said tastes delicious so if we're ever lacking on a meal or we feel like we didn't get any nutrients then it's great to have that with some ice we shake it up and it's like a chocolate delight it's delicious we also use it in smoothies at home mm -hmm. like we already mentioned we have a variety of nuts this is not only great for when we're out of quarantine and we can put it on our porridge, but also just snacking and getting healthy fats and proteins and micronutrients that are sometimes hard for us as vegans to get. Walnuts, it's a brain food. It looks like a brain. Omega-3s, it's important. Next, we have nutritional yeast, which a friend of mine actually recommended bringing this to sprinkle on top of your food that you get. Again, if it's lacking nutrients, you sprinkle this on top, you add B vitamins. Very random. But it also makes it taste nice. So yes. we only brought one bag of this. I'm a little sad that I didn't bring more, but space was limited, so we had to choose our battles. Crisps, specifically Swedish, Swedish. crisps. Oh, we love this. This is one of we our- love chips. It's one of our things that we cheat. We love Swedish crisps. I am actually astounded that we managed to bring three bags of crisps and they're all still alive and not totally crushed. It's good also that we didn't bring more. Yes. This one is very important. Vegan chocolate. You're definitely not gonna find this on board. Definitely not. This is the best brand of vegan chocolate that I've found so far. Worldwide. Like ever in my whole entire life. It's a brand called Rapunzel. Um, I don't know if it's German or what. 
I, I think it's a German bread. Either way, they're delicious. Mm, chocolate. And last but not least, all the way from America, matcha. If anyone knows me. How could you go away without matcha? I can't live without matcha. However, I have had to be living without it the last few days because we can only have so much oat milk. I'm gonna have to cure my addiction because I can't have it every day like I do at home. At least it's here with me. <sighs> yeah. I actually have one more hydro flask. It doesn't need to be a hydro flask, but just any flask that you can bring water around with you and refill and refill is also super important to have because both morgan and i we love iced water it's a struggle here on board especially because we're in europe they believe that everything should just be room temperature which i strongly disagree with but it, it, it really helps with life on board it does it does it does we are out of ice so sad also regardless if we're in quarantine or not we try to move every single day in some kind of mannerism. Either we work out, we meditate, we do yoga, like you saw in our video where you got to go through an entire day of us in quarantine on board. It's one of the main things that we do in a day. And I would say we do that on a regular basis when we're not in quarantine as well. Yeah, it definitely keeps me sane. Because when you're on a ship, everything is within a very short distance. So the general fatigue that you get when you're in ordinary life, you don't really get that. You can go an entire day and do everything and just walk 500 steps. My move goals are lacking. <laughs> so we really have to go out of our way to make sure that we're moving our bodies. Sweating and at some... least once a day. Other than that, just downloaded movies off Netflix, of course. And we edit our YouTube videos. So thank you for continuing to watch because it keeps us busy. It keeps us feeling productive and we enjoy it. So that concludes our essentials that we bring on board. These are the things that keep us sane. These are the things that we believe keep us healthy and happy. Thank you for coming along with us on another day in the life. Take care wherever you are in the world. See you guys later. Bye. Take care. That was so dramatic. What was dramatic? Nothing was dramatic. Should I change? Why? Looks so stylish. Right, I'm just gonna. Oh gosh, I'm just the gonna. I'm just door gonna close that. It's winging because we are at sea. How many times are we gonna say game changer in this video? Okay. <laughs> she does. She's just beautiful, you know. I love her so much. We got props. Are you serious? I freaking made the bed so nice today. Like, can you touch your tongue to your nose? It's very tight underneath here, it hurts. Oh.